Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on B plus 3 deletion. Okay, in the previous video, we are already discussed about uh, how to perform the insert operation on different orders, order 3, order 4 and order 5. Now, in this video, we are discussing about how to perform the deletion operation on B plus 3 of order 3. Okay. Now, this is the given problem. Delete the following elements from the given B plus 3. 40, 5, 45, 30, 25 and 55. So, this is order of B plus 3 is denoted by M. M is equal to 3. So, these are the points keep in mind while performing the deletion operation. First one is maximum number of key elements for a node is equal to m minus 1 that is 3 minus 1 that is equal to 2. Minimum number of key elements for a node is equal to m by 2 ceiling minus 1. So, that is uh, uh, 1. Next Maximum number of pointers for our children's for a node is equal to m that is equal to 3. Minimum number of key elements for a minimum number of pointers for our children's for a node is equal to m by 2 ceiling that is equal to 2. So these are the points keep in mind. Okay, so among all the points, so these two points are important while performing the deletion operation. Okay, next. So, this is the given B plus 3. So, we have to delete these elements. First, delete 40. Okay, first we have to find out the location of key element 40 in the given B plus 3. First, key element 40 is compared with the a root node so that root node contains the key element 25. So 40 is compared with the 25. So 40 is greater than 25. So that go to the right pointer. This line represents the right pointer. So the right pointer points to a right subtree. The right subtree contains the node. Uh, that node contains two key elements 35 and 45. Now, 40 is compared with uh, 35. So, 40 is greater than 35. Next, 40 is compared with the next key element, 45. So, 40 is compared with the 45. 40 is less than 35. So, go to the middle pointer. The middle pointer is nothing but 40 is located in between 35 and 40. So, that go to the middle pointer. The middle pointer points to a uh, subtree, so that contains a node. That node contains two key elements, 35 and 40. Okay, now 40 is compared with the first key element, that is a 35. So, 40 is greater than 35. Next, 40 is compared with the next key element, 40. So, 40 is compared with 40. Both are matched. Now, our key element is found at this node. So, this node is a leaf node because it does not have any children. Okay. Now, the first point, our deleted key element is located at the leaf node. First, we have to observe this node contains how many number of key elements. So, this node contains two key elements. One is a 35 and another one is 40. Okay. So, each and every node in this B plus 3 of order 3 contains minimum number of key elements for a node is equal to 1 and the maximum number of key elements for a node is equal to 2. Now, this node contains the more than the minimum number of key elements for a node. Okay, here minimum number of key elements for a node is equal to 1, but this node contains uh, two key elements. Hence, we can say that this node contains key elements greater than the minimum number of key elements for a node. 
at that time we have to simply delete that key element 40 okay so after deleting key element 40 then the resultant b plus 3 is root node 25 and 25 left child is 15 and 15 left child is 5 and 15 right child is 15 and 20 next 25 right child is contains a node it contains two key elements 35 and 40 and 35 left child contains a node that contains two key elements 25 and 30 and the middle pointer between 35 and 45 contains a node that contains two key elements after deleting 40 it contains only a 35 next 45 and 55 so after deleting 40 so this is the uh, resultant b plus 3 okay so here the deleted node so uh, here the key element 40 is located at this position this node is a leaf node this node contains how many number of key elements two key elements 35 and 40 this node contains more than the minimum number of key elements per node here minimum number of key elements per node is one but this node contains uh, two key elements now hence we can say that this node contains more than the minimum number of key elements per node at that time we have to simply delete at the key element 40 okay so after deleting 40 the resultant b plus 3 is this one okay next next we have to delete 5 from this existing b plus 3 from this tree we have to delete 5 now after deleting 40 this is the resultant b plus 3 now from this uh, uh, existing b plus 3 now we have to delete 5 okay now first we have to find out the location of 5 in this b plus 3 now 5 is compared with the key element in the root node that is 25 5 is compared with the 25 so 5 is less than 25 go to the left pointer of 25 okay so the left pointer points to a left subtree that contains the node that node contains the key element 15 now 5 is compared with 15 so 5 is less than 15 again go to the left pointer of 15 the left pointer points to a left subtree that contains the node 5 that contains the node that contains the key element 5 now 5 is compared with 5 both are equal now our key element is found at this node okay now so this node contain this node is a leaf node okay this node contains how many number of key elements so only one key element okay now this is the key element that is to be deleted but minimum number of key elements per node is equal to one but this node contains the minimum number of key elements okay whenever a key element that is to be deleted that contains minimum number of key elements so then it can take the borrow from the immediate sibling okay for this node immediate sibling is this one sibling means these two nodes have the same parent so this node has the parent 15 this node has the parent 15 now for this node this node is called as sibling okay now so whenever the deleted 
key element at a particular node, that particular node contains the minimum number of key elements. Okay, now it can take the borrow from the immediate sibling. Okay, so now it can take the borrow from this node. Okay, here 15 and 20 is there. This borrow can be taken through the parent. Okay, here parent is 15. Now, so 15 can be goes to down and 20 goes to up and this 15 is not there. Okay, so these are the actions can be done. Okay, once again I am telling. So our key element is found at this node. This node is a leaf node. This node contains only one key element. Okay, this node contains the minimum number of key elements for that for a node. So that, so it can take the borrow from the immediate sibling. So immediate sibling is uh, this one. It can take the borrow from the immediate sibling to the parent. So at that time, so 15 can goes to down and 20 goes to up. This 15 can be deleted at this place because already 15 is there at the leaf flow. So that here we have to remove 15. Okay. So after performing these actions, so 25 is the root node. Next, so 20 goes to up. Next, 15 goes to down. Okay. Now here only 20 is there because its copy is there. At the internal node, pointers or addresses are there. So it points to the leaf node. Yeah. Next one, there is no changes in the right subtree of 25. So 25, sorry, 35, 45, and its left child is 25, 30. And the middle pointer points to a subtree that contains 35 and the right subtree is 45 and 55. Okay, so after deleting the key element 5, this is the resultant D plus 3. Okay, next. Next we go for delete 45 from this tree. Okay. Now, after deleting 40 and 5, next, this is the resultant D plus 3. Next, we have to delete 45. Okay, from this existing D plus 3. First, we have to find out the location of key element 45. For that one, so 45 is compared with the root node. So here root node contains the key element 25. 45 is compared with the 25. So 45 is greater than 25. So go to the right pointer of 25. The right pointer points to a right subtree. The right subtree contains a node that contains two key elements. So now 45 is compared with the 35. So 45 is greater than 35. Next, next key element is 45. Now, 45 is compared with the 45. Both are equal so that we can say that our key element is found at this node. Now, this node is a leaf node or a internal node. Check once. So, this node is a internal node because this node contains three children. Okay, now our deleted key element is found at the internal node. Previously, so for 40 and 5, these elements are found at the leaf node. Okay, now our deleted key element 45 is found at this node. This node contains two key elements. 
35 and 45. So first 45 is compared with the 35, it is greater. Now 45 is compared with 45, both are matched. Our key element is found at this node. Now this node is a internal node. Okay, now how to delete 45? Okay, now so this node contains how many number of key elements? So that is two key elements 35 and 45. This node contains more than the minimum number of key elements per node. So here minimum number of key elements per node is 1 but this node contains two key elements so 2 is greater than 1. Okay, so at that time we have to simply delete the key element 45 at the internal node and also at the leaf node. Okay, now after deleting 45 at the internal node and the leaf node, okay, what is the tree we are getting? So after deleting 45 at the leaf node, so we are getting only 55. After deleting 45 at this node, only empty space is created. Okay, now this empty space can be replaced with in order successor of this node. In order successor of this node means minimum element in the right subtree. The minimum element in the right subtree is only one element is there that is 55. Now this empty space can be filled with in order successor of that deleted element. So that is 55. Now this empty space is filled with 55. So after deleting 45, this is the resultant tree we are getting. Here 45 in order successor is 55. Hence 45 can be replaced with 55. So finally we are getting after deleting 45. This is the B plus tree we are getting. Okay. Next we have to delete 35 from this tree only. 